Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a preliminary hearing with a soft tard who will not stand up and identify himself as his proper name. And the judge just seems to get confused about it, so pity her because this might be her first sovereign citizen that she's encountered. But oh well, she had to meet one sooner or later. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And this is case number SP146. 6520 People versus Michael Harris. Names for the record. Dean Carver on behalf of Mr. Harris. Can you state your name? Mr. Harris, can you state your name? We can't hear you, Mr. Harris. Oh, oh. oh hold on one moment. Okay. There we go. Keep falling for some reason. You balancing it on something? Yeah. Okay. We can. I think. Go ahead. Just state your name. On and for the record. Oh, let me put my light on. Oh, shoot, my light went out. So I can see. On and for the record, um, all rights reserved without prejudice. I, Mikael hyphen Eric Colin Harris, comma, beneficiary and sovereign principal of the Seske Trust. And I'm here by special appearance, participating under threat, duress, fraud, uh, coercion, harassment, and extortion, not submitting to the court's jurisdiction. Oh, come on now, dude. If you really believed any of that BS, you would not have shown up to court to be the representative of the fiduciary or whatever. I mean, you would have not shown up at all. And never mind this bogus BS trust that sovtards like you claim they're all, that we're all born with and that we have that we have to know how to gain access to them and uh use it for all our debts and everything like that i mean we all know that's a bunch of bs to begin with and the claim of uh proving the existence of these trusts is not on me it is on you to prove that they exist to begin with i mean i'm going by the null hypothesis that they don't exist you have to provide evidence to the contrary. All right. So um, I'm not trying to harass you or threaten you or, or anything. If you don't want to participate, then I'll just... You're responding to my call of this case. So um, if you're not participating, then we don't need you to. You, I don't. It'll be as if you're not here. As okay. if Michael. Yeah, yeah. Eric, let me just say, as if Michael Eric Harris is not here. That's on this ticket. Eric Harris is the is the trust. I'm the beneficiary of that trust. So you are representing the uh, imaginary trust right here. I mean the mystical. Uh, deposit of cash that we're all supposed to have in our name. And seeing as how you're saying you're representing somebody else, then that essentially means you're trying to play lawyer at this point. So without a license, that would become illegal. And you and the and the courts are the fiduciaries. Yeah, that that's all I can do is move if you move forward if you're saying that you are Michael Eric Harris. The beneficiary. If you're not saying that. I'm, I'm just going by the ticket. I didn't make the ticket. So I just, you know, so if you who's on the screen now responding to the case I called, 
are, are not saying that you are Michael Eric Harris, then I, I can't move forward. Okay. Well, okay. Um, what I'm saying is that your officer, your officer made a citation according to the trust. That's and not that my trust, that's not my officer. I, I have nothing to do with the officer, just so you uh, know that. The for court the, for the court for it to be there, for me to be be here today under this situation, uh it had to come from somewhere. That's the reason why I'm here. Y'all summons, y'all summons the uh the trust and that's the reason why I'm here. I'm here. I'm the beneficiary of that trust. Man, oh man, you soft cards and your trust issues. I mean, uh, how are we supposed to trust you if you go around with this legal gobbledygook that doesn't work in a court of law to begin with? I mean, just say you're Michael and move on because this going around in circles is not going to help your case out at all, dude. Okay, I we didn't summons a trust. We summons a person of Michael yeah. Eric, Eric yeah. Harris, but it yeah. was it was generated because um, an officer who is not part of the court uh, issued a citation or uh, issued a, a ticket. So well, that, 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 officer, that officer started a suit against the trust. That officer started a suit against the trust with the all caps name. You know, I really wish that you softards would go outside and take a look at these signs that are all over the place with these corporate entities such as Walmart, Target, uh, Burger King, McDonald's and all that. Not all of them have all caps names. Walmart in particular has the... Uh, a capital W and no other letter in the name is capitalized. Other uh, corporations have their uh, capitalization in other spots. There is no uniform standard for all caps within the corporate world. It does not denote a corporation. You softards are nothing but a bunch of morons if you believe that. And that all caps name is the reason why the beneficiary is here, because I'm the I'm the photographic I'm the photographic representation of the beneficiary of that trust. And there was no crime committed, and failure to present the court uh, a case deprived the court of jurisdiction against me, being a sovereign principal of the Sesque Trust, who hereby moved this court to dismiss the complaint filed by the officer or policy officer for failure to present a cause of action or crime. Uh, everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. Man, oh man, I'm surprised you haven't choked on all that word salad you've been spewing out of your mouth because that was just nothing but a bunch of garbage sounding like... Uh, Something was coming out of there, but it just made absolutely no sense. And especially in legal theory, it wouldn't hold a water at all, dude. Come on, now. Do better next time. All right. Thank you. Miss uh, Mason, do you have anything to state? For the record, Your Honor, Dia Mason, attorney for the city of Detroit. Um, the charges against... Mr. Michael Harris, uh, the beneficiary of the trust. The charges are license and proper license, unregistered vehicle, no valid insurance. Um, at this time, is Mr. Harris uh, amenable or agreeable to taking any kind of offer or amended on the charges? Uh, no offer. Uh, I sit in a... Um... I sent in some documents of uh, conditional acceptance. And uh, may I ask who may be the prosecutor? Have the name of the prosecutor? Dia, D-I-A, Mason, M-A-S-O-N. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. But I, I guess what I'm saying is I can't move forward <clears throat> saying he's Michael Eric Harris. So I don't know if you're trying to resolve. Uh, if uh, you, So... Um, no one can stand in Miss in Michael Eric Harris's stead 
but Michael Eric Harris, not as anything else. Um, oh. But but so I don't want so I want to be careful because I don't want to impose something on you that isn't you and you're not actually. I guess this uh, judge is not exactly familiar with all the sovereign citizen games and everything like that. So this must be a first for her. And it's indeed going to be a learning experience where she's going to end up doing research on their word salad gobbledygook. So that way she's better prepared for it the next time it comes up. And she'll be able to call them on their bullshit next time a lot more easily. So um, let me just say this. I'll say this. It is my understanding that you're not looking for any legal help from a licensed attorney because that's the only person who would be able to stand in the stead of Michael Eric Harris and, and move forward on his behalf. Although on misdemeanor matters, the person has to come in as as well, the actual well, defendant. Well, we know a person is a person, place, or thing, which is a noun. A building could be a person. Anything could be a person. So the trust is the person that you're referring to with all caps. Uh, no, dude, your education is severely lacking. This is uh, basic kindergarten, first grade stuff. A person is a human being. A thing would be that building you're describing. And a place would be the physical location where that building is at. So I suggest you go back to kindergarten or first grade or something like that and go back to that point and just re-educate yourself because that was a bunch of BS right there and that's all it was. That's the person that you're referring to. I'm the beneficiary of that trust. So I, well, like I say again, who I, I hereby move this court to dismiss this complaint filed by the policy officer for failure to present a cause of action or crime. There was no crime committed. All right. No, that's not the issue. And whether it was committed, that's what ultimately happens. But they have they have initiated um, a citation, which is a suit. With, with with if you, I can just finish, that says um, the charges are driving while license not valid or improper license, driving an unregistered or untitled motor vehicle, and driving a motor vehicle without proper insurance. And all of the statutes are stated. So the court would be not dismissing anything. Uh, well, today. Uh, well, and, if uh, uh, and if and if you're not moving forward with it, I, I, because you're not participating as Michael Eric Harris, and the only person who can represent Michael Eric Harris is Michael Eric Harris or a license, a Michigan licensed attorney. It's my understanding that the person in the in front of me uh, that's visible on the screen, meaning you, sir, it has declined to have a. Uh, attorney representation. Is that correct? I just want to make sure that's clear because that's what the I, I, I don't uh, I don't need a, an attorney nor a lawyer, but according to American Jewish Prudent Volume 11, Commerce to Constitutional Law, Copyright 1940, 11 M. Jura, Subsection 329 states, Constitutional Law 2, Liberty Paragraph 4, Personal liberty largely consists of a right of local motion to go where and when one pleases, only so far restrained as the rights of others may make it. Necessary for the welfare of all other citizens, but I'm a sovereign principle, the right of a citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon by horse-drawn carriage, wagon, or automobile is not a mere privilege which may be permitted or prohibited, which you call a license, but at will, but a common right, which he has under his right of life, liberty, and a pursuit of happiness under this constitutional guarantee. Under this constitutional guarantee, one may therefore, under normal conditions, travel at his inclinations along the public highways or in public places, and while conducting himself in an orderly and decent manner, neither interfering with nor disturbing another's rights, he will be protected not only in his person, but in his safe conduct. 
I am not a citizen. I am a sovereign principal. Well, I got a solution to that, because if you don't want to be considered a citizen of this country, well, that is easy. Can you go pick a country where there are no traffic laws? We can deport you there, and everybody will be happy, except for the country that we deported you to, because we may have made a mistake, and they may have traffic laws that you don't want to obey as well, so they may consider that a declaration of war against them, sending such stupidity their way. I'm a sovereign free man. I'm not a citizen of this uh, corporation in order to be under your jurisdiction. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Sorry, but that's not how any of this works. If you live within a country, you've got to obey the laws of that country. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you want to go sovereign, then pick some empty island somewhere that no other country has claimed as their own yet. I mean, that's the only way you're going to be sovereign right there. I think that's that's it. I'm, I, I, I am not able, based on that, to um, dismiss this case against Michael Eric Harris. And if you aren't that person, then maybe it doesn't, it, it won't matter to you. So um, I appreciate you and I thank you for uh, uh, putting those things on the record. And I uh, think that, that ends the case. That ends the, um, I'm sorry, not the case, the... Uh, the docket yes and i have presented i have presented to this here is the beneficiary of the trust and you have that information there and you can look it I, up and i don't have i don't just so that you know in my file i have i don't have anything but the offer from the prosecutor and and this from uh, and the ticket so well, that, I, 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 I place I place this on the docket uh, February twenty fourth. Okay, thank you. This is for case. This, so, Mr. SP Harris, one three nine two six two two one and SP one three nine nine two six I placed them on the docket um, February twenty fourth, two thousand twenty three. I, I don't want to call you because uh, you're not you're not you're not saying that you are the person that's on this ticket. But just for clarification, the only this is the person this is the person on that ticket. Let let me just say, can I just say, for clarification just, and for the record, the only um the only case that's before the court right now is case number SP one four six six. Five two zero counts one two and three, people versus Michael Eric Harris, and so that's all I'm doing. So uh, thank you. So whatever, if you filed something, and just so you know, this was issued after whatever you filed. This is issued on May thirty first, twenty twenty three, and it might have, may have been for another matter. That matter is not in this file. For the okay, I, I will make sure that matter gets in that file. Plus, but, but, I've already, I, I sent that officer a conditional acceptance as well as yourself, um, as well as the building. I've sent that conditional acceptance with all matters pertaining to it. I'm, I'm, I'm innocent of all matters at hand. That, that's... Sorry, but that's not how this works. You just can't declare yourself innocent of all the charges. I mean, that's not how it works. You've got to go through the process just like everybody else. You are nothing special. Okay, thank you. I just, I don't know what to tell you. I can't move forward if you're not a... Um, wanting to move forward at all concerning the way uh, we process the cases. So there's no issue about beneficiary or trust or anything like that. So thank you for placing all that on the record, Mr. Harris. Uh, well, I don't know if you're Mr. Harris, but sir, thanks for placing that on the record. And you have a, a, a great day. And um. I don't know if I set a show cause or a KPS because the person 
who's appearing here is not wanting to participate as Michael Eric Harris at all in the matter. So you you take care, but I we we heard everything you had to say and we placed it. Uh, it's been placed on the record. Well, let me ask a question. Ms. Dia Mason is the prosecutor, am I correct? She just said that. Okay. Who is who is who is the um the um clerk? Who is the head clerk over the courts, if you don't mind me asking? The head clerk. Yes, ma'am. You why don't you go on the court website, um, sir, to get to get that information. Okay. Which is www. I'm not yeah, I, 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 have, I have it. That's how I got to you. I, uh, okay. I have it. Dot 36 district court dot org. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. And I, just want, I just want to tell you, you're one of the nicest judges, judges I've met so far. And I just oh. have to I have to reiterate that. You're one of the nicest ones. I've well, yeah, I think she's a bit too nice in this particular scenario. If it were me, I would have issued a bench warrant for you by now. If you want to dodge court that way by saying I am the representative of so-and-so, then the bench warrant would be in issued for so-and-so, and that way we could get the right person in there and get this matter settled. I met so far, even though you're doing your job according to the system, yeah. um, you're one of the nicest one I've met so far, and I appreciate you for your kindness and your uh, ability to do what you do because of the work that you do. Thank you, Mr. Harris. I appreciate that. We just won't be able to move forward. You can think about it if you ever want to like, try to resurrect So, this. So let me ask you a question. Are you saying that I have to be, I have to put myself in your jurisdiction to move ahead? Move ahead? Well, you're, you're saying you're not this person. And so I can't, I won't, I don't want to pose that on you. Well, yes, say, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, I that, know what you're saying. right. So if, what I'm saying is in order for you to move ahead, you're saying that I have to put myself in your jurisdiction by saying that I understand what you're saying. And then you can move ahead because I have to put my, and in a sense, that's threat, duress, coercion, because this is what the officer did in the first place in order for me to be here in front of you. No. So you're, you're, you're saying two kind of different things. I, and it's hard because I don't, I, I hear what you're saying, but it doesn't jive with the context of how we proceed on matters. So I, I'm trying to be respectful. I'm, I'm you're saying, saying, but all I can do is say that Michael Eric Harris, I'm not talking about trust beneficiary or anything. Michael Eric Harris is not here. So I can't move, a, move, a, I can't move ahead on that. So it's like, yeah. I had to process it as if Michael here, Eric Harris, the person is not here. So let me ask this question. Let me ask a question. So are you saying that when a person paid 10% of the funds or fines or whatever, that y'all don't go into the trust and take the whole 100% out? And there we go. Confirmation that this idiot has fallen for this mystical, mythical trust BS that these sovtard gurus put out. Dude, there is no trust out there for everybody in the United States. That does not exist. Never has, never will. I don't know where, who you got this from, but you need to grow up and get into the real world and realize that there is no easy way out of this. That is just petty BS you're spouting. Just kindergarten fantasy world crap. Are you saying that? Are you saying that y'all, that the judges and, and, and the courts don't go into the trust and take the whole 100% of the funds out from the 10% that was given from the whoever it was that was uh, the litigants or whoever that was that's supposed to be men. Uh, yeah, there's there's not a trust per se that like the way you're talking. And let me just say, you don't have a bond. You have, I, the court has not, not you. I'm going to say, Michael, Eric Harris on this, there's no bond. There's no bond. So there's not, no money right now. This, this is predisposition. There's no money that's been 
after so, the post. Yeah, so how can where's the accuser then? How can we bring the accuser? We're, we're not we're not at that point. But I can't get to that point. I can't even get to that point when you say when you say I'm not the one. So yeah. I so I, I just can't get to that point. Someone we're not has that to point. assert the right. There, there, there have been there have been other quote unquote cases that we've gotten to that point at by me sharing the same information. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to do it the best way I can, Mr. Harris. <laughs> you would have to go to trial in order to face your accusers because your accusers aren't notified to be here today. Or not yours, but... The accuser. The accuser. Can I, correct? It would the be the officer who wrote the ticket. The complaining witness. Some... I, I don't know, you know. It, yes, they, it's Officer Richardson. They yes. resolve he, all. He, he, he's of under contract. He had, he's under contract. Okay. I all sent right. in a con. I sent in a contract, and he has not. Uh, uh, he had ten days to um, to uh, reply, and he's under contract, according to the postal rule. Uh, no, dude, that's not how this works, dude. I mean, you're not exactly at the trial yet. He's supposed to make an appearance at the trial, and you face your accuser at the trial. This is just a preliminary hearing, not the actual trial itself. Man, oh man, I hate these freaking pro se solved tards and their inability to understand basic logic and everything like that. It just annoys the hell out of me. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And you take care. Y'all have a great day. All right. You too. Bye-bye. And that completes the uh, morning docket. Thank you, everyone. Judge, I suggest you uh, do some research on the sovereign citizen arguments and uh, counter arguments and everything like that. I mean, this dude just tried to bamboozle you, but all he did was extend the process a little bit more in the end. And it's something you're going to have to learn about because there will be a lot of these people coming forward in the future, in your future, if you haven't met them already. But given that you seem to have no clue about these sovereign citizens, I would say that this was your first. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.